everyone, Alexandra here again. Today I'm going to review another email marketing tool that you can use to send your newsletters, your drip campaigns, whatever sales or educational message you want to share with your email list. And this tool is called Moosend. And keep in mind that yes, there's a free version for this tool. So you can go ahead and start using it if you have a small email list to begin with. Right off the bat, you have your dashboard, which is where you will see essentially your paths in terms of campaigns and revenue once you start sending your emails. Now at the top, you have some general stats related to your account, but what's super interesting is that you can log in for each one of your clients so that you can have different accounts for every single client that you have. So this is perfect for agencies or email marketing consultants, freelancers, virtual assistants. And for each of these accounts, you will have some settings related to, you know, branding, senders, templates, and websites, and even a suppression list in here. Now to actually create your first campaign, you can either go here at the top or go to campaigns and click on create new campaign. And you will have a bunch of choices to pick from in here, but we are just going to go with a simple regular campaign for this tutorial. Now you have to add in your usual campaign name. You can set the subject line, the preview text, which is the snippet that will appear right next to the subject line in people's email inbox. Remember, you can actually use emojis for these as well to kind of make them pop. Then you have the sender option and who you want people to reply to and just some extra options for tracking. Click on next. Then you're going to choose your email list. And a bit later on in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these from mailing lists. Click on next. And you have the option to choose between a HTML and plain text type of email or plain text. The plain text version is better if you just want to write some friendly messaging or sales drip campaigns without making it overly promotional so that it looks just like you would receive an email from someone you know. But for this tutorial, I'm going to go with this advanced feature and we are going to start a design from scratch by going to the editor. Now you can always just choose one of the templates from here at the top and you have some really interesting designs. However, you will probably want to customize this a bit. So let's just choose this example. You can preview it or you can even add them to your favorites. So now you can actually find them in the my favorite template. Go to use template. And now that we have our template, we can always just go on and choose maybe new extra structures. Like for example, here we could add a new full width container. And within it, I'm going to add an image by dragging this on top of the container. And once you double click on this, you have a bunch of options to choose from. I'm just going to opt for this for now, add the image. And you can always resize this a bit, but it will look kind of like this if you don't cut the image beforehand. You can always go again to image picker on the left side and choose maybe a different image like this one. And on the left side, you have a bunch of options like adding maybe a background color, aligning the image so that it's centered the right way, adding a URL on top of it, adding alt text, always add this to make sure your emails are accessible. You can also just crop the image to make it, you know, the size that you truly need. So maybe something like this, click on crop. And now this image will take up less space. You also have the option to keep its natural size or stick it on the full width of this container. And really, if you go on top of any image, any element, you can just double click on that, change the image, change the text, and if you click on a button, for instance, again, you will have all of your options on the left side. 
I think Moosend does have a fairly intuitive platform compared to other tools, and everything is really simple to use and to change in the editor. So if you want to compare it to another tool, I recommend you go ahead and also try MailChimp at the same time. You are testing this content editor in Moosend to see kind of the differences in terms of, you know, the look and feel of the editor. And basically for any element, let's say this image here, you will have your settings also on the right side. For example, you can click on settings and your structure settings open up on the left side. And this is just for the container type. And you can also just move the container around. And if you want to duplicate this, you can create a clone block. You have to name it ideally. And what happens now is that you will find it in here under your structure options. So you can reuse this across your email. You can also just duplicate it from here so it gets copied automatically. And basically you now have just a bunch of these images. So we're just going to delete them. And notice how you also have some extra settings here at the top. So basically whenever you go over a container, you will have your container settings on the right side and every specific element settings at the top. So for example, if you want to change this price here, you're going to go to settings and you have the options in here. So for example, you could be adding a background color or anything like that. So basically to review for the editing options, you have your structure. So these are again, the containers kind of like this. And then you have a bunch of elements. So you can add maybe some social sharing options, an image, and some text. And just edit this as you wish. There's even some more advanced options like the timer, some product features. And of course, you have your settings options in here. And this is great because there's really a lot of ways to change these containers. Don't forget you also have your mobile version in here. So you can edit the newsletter and make sure it fits and looks great on a mobile device as well. And here at the top you have your preview, which is really allowing you to see what the newsletter will look like on different devices. Then you have the option to send yourself a test and just add in your email in here and you're good to go. And then some code options just in case you want to maybe make this newsletter more interactive and you have the option to clear everything so maybe stay away from this and then when you're done just go to update campaign and continue and then you will be taken back to editing your campaign so basically your template or your email design if you will is ready and now you can send another test and either send this campaign or schedule it for later and you can also opt to send this campaign again to subscribers who did not open this. Now, if you remember, we recently had a tutorial for Drip and in Drip, you have to create a new campaign from scratch if you want to change the campaign subject and sender when resending the email to people who didn't open it the first time. So here you have a lot of extra options to make sure that you send this campaign exactly when you want to however the only thing you can't change in here is basically the time when you send this and finally right before you hit send you get a snapshot so an overview of what the campaign looks like and you can just hit send and you're ready to go Moosend isn't just for creating these email campaigns. You can also use it, obviously, for lead generation. And in here, you can create landing pages or just subscription forms to embed onto your website. So we are going to create a new landing page. Name it as you wish. You can add in your SEO data in here, including title tag and meta description, and of course, the icon for the website or really the, just the landing page. Then again, you're going to design your landing page. I would recommend that you always start with a template just because it's going to be easier for you to 
put together the design you want. So we are opting for this newsletter subscription template. And the editor is exactly like the one for the email. So we don't really need to go over this. But the difference is that you might want to just go on and add maybe extra containers here at the bottom and just start writing maybe some extra benefits on your offering, some testimonials, whatever it is to convince people to sign up for your list. Again, of course, you have your preview and a custom script option in here if you want to really maybe use your developers and ask them to help you put together something really nice that's not available by default in Moosend and then just go to the next step. I like how Moosend kind of takes you gradually to every step you need to cover so you can make sure that you haven't missed anything, including what you want your link to the landing page to look like on social media. So maybe you want to customize this with something like join our newsletter and then start describing your newsletter, maybe add in a custom image. And you also have some conversion tracking options always track conversions at least as long as we are still allowed to track them because it will provide loads of insights for you. Also, you might want to turn on your cookie warning and exceptions. Consent, click on next, and then you have a bunch of options in here to either publish this landing page on the Moosen domain. So if you don't have a domain but just need to start gathering some emails, or you can publish on WordPress or an external third-party platform. And next, again, you have your summary and you can go on to publish. And the process is really the same for subscription forms as well. And let's say we want to create a modal pop-up. Again, go to the designer. And I'm just going to choose something simple like this one. And you have your general settings in here. You can also preview this on a mobile device. Click to proceed to next step. And then you will be taken to the most important part for setting up these pop-ups, and that is the visibility settings. So we want the form to be displayed only upon exit. And I want people who have seen this to only be able to get it after 30 days or you can just add one month and you want to avoid showing this form to people who have already submitted it because you know they just subscribe to the newsletter so there's no reason to show this again to them and then you have some extra conditions you can decide to only show it when the URL pad contains blog. So this means that this will only pop up on our blog and our articles. And then to publish it, you'd basically just have to connect your website. Then you will get a summary of this and you are able to publish it straight away. Next, we move on to our mailing list. And to create a new one, just click on create new list. You can add members in here, either one by one or in batch. And from batch actions, you can also just archive multiple people at the same time and subscribe them. So maybe after a year, you want to send an email asking people if they still want to receive the email. And you can send this maybe two times to make sure that everyone who wants the email will actually see this opportunity. And for the rest of the people, you can just archive them or unsubscribe them all together. Then you have some extra settings, some custom fields, and you can create segments within a big list. So for example, for the newsletter pop-up, you can create a custom segment, name it something more specific than what I just added so that you will know which segment you want to target when you add it to a campaign. And you have a bunch of options like, for example, having a segment for people who are tagged with affiliate. So this will be your maybe affiliate segment and maybe you can send just a couple of emails to them or a newsletter specifically for them. It's up to you really. And finally, we have automations. So this is 
And finally, we have automations. This is a must for any email marketing service provider. And if you are a beginner at using automations, you have a couple of template options in here, or you can just go on to create a custom automation. And honestly, this looks like most other tools for this. It's like HubSpot, like Drip, like MailChimp. So it will be super easy for you to use. Just select a trigger. So maybe when someone opens a specific campaign, you want to add a tag to them or you can send them another email. You can even unsubscribe them. It depends on what you want. So for example, this water-based upsell, cross-sell template is a bit more complex so when someone purchases any product this is the trigger you get to filter by the weather conditions in that person's location and maybe wait a bit of time and then send a specific email campaign based on the weather in that person's location or if they haven't purchased anything you can still wait a bit and maybe resend another email so there's just a lot of options to work with and for any campaign, you can also have some specific reports in here. Plus, there's a few, not too many, but this should be good enough for most of your needs. A few integrations to work with. Plus, you know, you have Zapier at all times, so that's just making it easier for you to connect to any kind of app. And this is it for today, everyone. The tool is definitely worth giving a try. Now, keep in mind the templates I've just shown you also available under your settings, under templates. They aren't exactly very up-to-date in terms of design, like other tools such as Flowdesk provide, but it's definitely worth giving them a try as the editor is super simple to use and does have some extra editing options compared to just Flowdesk. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Enjoy the day!